there, mom had just passed away. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd be more than happy to. And I uh, looked in my bag with my books and stuff, and I remembered that my wife took the prayer, took the practical care of the sick book to go visit the nun and bring her Holy Communion. And I was there, and I was like all of a sudden terrified because I thought, well, I can do it right after they die, and the family, there's prayers in there. But really, I think you need to trust God that he'll get you through that. I think that's something that we should share, that things will pop up where you're not totally prepared, but that you trust enough but that God's going to help you get through that. You know, I mean, I said some things, and the guy standing out there with the gurney, I mean, you know, what do you do? You have to pick quick, you know, but I, I never forgot that. I make sure I have two books now. One stays with me. I was just going to say, when in doubt, say the Lord's Prayer to take Hail Marys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 but no, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> yes? I, I think what Monsignor said about stretching is a great, great point for us and for the people that we're going to mentor to. Uh, I like the concept that you got to learn how to dance on your feet. And that reminded me of what you just said so many times, that they know we're deacons. They're going to, we're called upon, just like you're called upon. Oh, Father, can you say a quick blessing? Father, could you say something to deacon? Can you do this? Mm -hmm. And uh, I like what you just said. Uh, Bob, that we, we just have to remember that who we are working for. We're working for God, mm. okay? And to put our faith in them and let, let the new guys know, yeah, you got to dance with your feet. Don't take yourself so seriously. And, you know, if we let God walk with us, okay, things are going to turn out all right. So I thought it was a great point you brought up in the stretch. I think it's important to stress, too, as a mentor <clears throat> to the deacons, to learn to humbly serve their parishioners with humility. You know, sometimes we get to embellish certain things and we kind of lose where we are. And I think we <clears throat> serve with humility and, and that's very important. You can start there with prayer and everything else to fall into place. <clears throat> Whatever needs to be done. One last point um, from what John McKenna is telling me, when there is a new class that enters formation, and, and that's not clear when that's going to be yet, um, they're very much thinking about the idea that what they should have done with this class, and it just didn't occur to them, have them mentored right through formation, offer mentoring. For that reason, I would uh, ask you to give some thought to, to what we've done these two evenings together. And if you have any suggestions, uh, things that we might have missed or overemphasized or you know, another approach you think might be useful, because I have a feeling that while well, John's doing this and I'm connected with that parish, he's going to keep finding me and he needs help with these things. And I enjoy doing it. Um, and I, I was kind of looking through the material he handed out. I, was, I, I didn't think of it until tonight myself. I was hoping there was going to be some kind of uh, evaluation, some kind of feedback for him. We can do it informally. If anybody has any you know, suggestions, email him to John, which he's not here to hear me say it. So the first one has got to be, you know, Father Don asked us to. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got enough to do. He's not worth the chance. <laughs> We're still recording. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh no. Ah, ah. <laughs> Anything else, John? For a certain fee, I <laughs> uh, don't consider it. All right, John. I'll use my prayer now. Is that my food? Yeah, I have the forms. So I'll turn these into John.